my quixotic comrades, this is Cavalier here. Today, we'll be doing the final boss of the third wing of Ruined City. Wait, third wing, the Ruined City, which is part of League of Explorers. That was a fuck up. Moving on, Hero Najjar is the name of the deck. I am just flubbing all over the damn place. This is the Heroic Najjar deck. Holy crap, I'm excited. It's Sunday, I finally got these damn things done. This dude... This dude's crazy, man. I wouldn't have thought so because Twiz was trying to figure out Najjar while I was fucking around with Giant Fin and Slither Spear. Actually, I was fucking around with Giant Fin and Pez was fucking around with Slither Spear because we're a fucking team. It's awesome. Um, she hasn't been able to beat him yet. And this one that I made just off the top of my head, basically, is uh, two for two. I've won twice with it. I don't know if I just got stupid lucky. Um, the astute viewer might notice that there is a problem. I have gone out of my way to try and make these decks have only rare, common, or basic cards. This guy kind of throws a wrench in that. He's an epic. Oh, I can't bring him up. Well, you see, the purple gem, he's an epic. But if you look below the purple gem, he's part of BRM. Is that Nox or BRM? Whatever. He's one of the paid uh, the paid adventure epics, so I'm going to include him. He's so valuable that you kind of have to do it. Um, otherwise, uh, KT is... Uh, also, it's a legendary that breaks the rule again, but it's part of the thing. It's part of a of the same adventure, I think, uh, which is Nox. Is Echoing Goose Nox? Echoing Goose seems like he's Nox. Anyway, uh, Darnassus is especially good here because she won't get her death rattle nine times out of ten. They can't do three damage on turn two. Um, Innervate's good, obviously. Living Roots is what you're going to go hard for, though. Living Roots, Living Roots, Living Roots, Living Roots. Um, you want to mulligan hard for that. I got it in both of my attempts, so that could be the difference between winning and losing. Um, Power of the Wild, I've always used as a buff 1-1. One, one. I think you should probably do that, too. Um, did I include... I don't think I included uh, another epic. What's the what's the combo wombo? Uh, Savage Roar and Spirit of the Forest or whatever? What is that called? Where you at? Soul of the Forest. Force of Nature. That's what it is. That's not in here, because fuck that. One, it's an epic. And two, you really don't need it. Um, basically... Yeah, you're just going to try to spawn out as many things as you can. Try to hold off on Silverhand until turn 5, but if you can't, fuck it. No big deal. Um, this I didn't get to use, but I feel like it could be a good saving grace. Um, again, really just depends. It's good with KT, I guess, but you're not going to have KT out for very long. Luckily, the higher the mana things are, I had KT go into Rag, go back into KT, so that's pretty badass. Um, but yeah, you're just going to play Control. That's the biggest thing. That's, that's what I should focus on here. The biggest thing about this one is play control. Do not let them get ahead of you. Don't take unnecessary damage. If uh, you can only do one damage and they have two health, don't attack that thing. Just go face because it's going to go away no matter what damage it has. Um, their AI is pretty shitty about that, actually. They, uh, they'll they damage and not kill a minion and then pass or end their turn. And basically it was for nothing. So don't fall into the trap that they do. Uh, otherwise, you know... Save Savage Roar, I guess, for the end. Power of the Wild's good for, you know, two plus minions. Uh, again, just fucking as much as you can. Control. Board control. Board control. Board control. Let's get to the match. Alright, guys. So, I don't really know if I got super lucky or if this is super effective. I'm two and two, like I think I mentioned in the deck section of this. I don't know. I'm not recording these all sequentially. Fucking bite me. Um, this was a much worse draw than I got my very first try, and that's a pretty good mulligan. So you want to go hard for Living Roots, I talked about that I think, if not, and Darnassus Aspirant, fucking wonderful, because you do, don't get her death rattle. So you're basically already gaining tempo, and you're fucking gaining, um, you're gaining mana on them, so you're doing really well. Uh, this actual game, I got way farther low, way lower than I did on my first try, so... I think I think it's actually a pretty worthwhile deck. So uh, in this case, this is what I was talking about. If you can only do one damage, don't hit one of the minions. I'm gonna go ahead and trade the two one and the two two because that's fair. Um, but don't don't give up your trog. You know what I mean? Don't don't make it easier for there for her to kill it off. Um, although this pissed me right the fuck off. Look at this top roll. So I actually did end up losing my mana. So. Basically, everything that could have went wrong did go wrong. They got another goddamn scavenging hyena. Just ridiculous. I don't have any play until next turn. So, yeah. Everything that could go wrong pretty much went wrong in this one. And I still pulled out very narrowly, but I did manage to do it. So, I think that this is an okay deck. Again, 
Um, there's that echoing news. Epic, I know, but again, it was from uh, it's from a uh, paid for set, a soul adventure set, so that's totally okay. Now I'm thinking to myself, which is better, echoing ooze and hit, or uh, swipe or dragonling mechanic or whatever. And just because I got so lucky with them all having two of them having one health, I was like, I gotta swipe. I just gotta clear right now. They have so few cards. They've got that looming presence card that's gain, draw three cards, gain six armor. But I didn't expect them to use their whole turn on that. And as I was, I was rewarded for my uh, my belief in that. Okay, what do I do here? So again, I have really no good play here. Now, in reality, you want to play that card as a charge if you can because it goes away the next turn. But since I needed to clear field, that was the play in this case. So that card can be played either way. You just have to know which situation. If you're down on board, play it as a taunt. If you're up on board or... Pretty, yeah, pretty much if you're up on board or you really have to clear something, I guess, would be the only things. Um, that's the only time you run in as charge. Now, again, I'm just trying to establish board control. I'm assuming they won't hit field. They're going to go face uh, because they've got so much damage. <clears throat> Whew, I've been doing all these in a row, guys, and my throat is killing me. I'm so happy this is my last one. And I was correct. Cool. That was very smart of me. Good job, Cav. Pat's on back. And they're playing their whole goddamn hand out, and that's just... Now, right here, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> I'm not too ashamed or too proud to admit it. Um, I thought I was dead, and then I came back. And I was like, "Wait, what the fuck happened? My fucking doomsayer happened! That's what fucking happened! How fucking lucky was that?" So, uh, yeah, that was basically my saving grace here. I'm trying to mouse over it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking nuts. I don't know if I talked about the beginning of the um, the beginning of the video. I am voicing over this after the fact. So, so there's that looming presence. So they're basically passing a turn again. Fucking wonderful. Um, I'm voicing over this after the fact. So if it seems weird that I'm talking about things like Cav, what are you doing? It's because I'm talking to myself in the in the uh, past. And again, two looming presences. Fucking awesome because they're doing nothing for their tempo right now. So next turn, I'm gonna go KT or Keltizod into Iron Bark on turn nine. Or at least that's, that's the plan as it stood. And look at that. Two zombie chows. Two goddamn zombie chows. And mine won't actually help them because they don't have it, they haven't lost any health yet. And I can clear field. Ah! Everything just started going great for me, man. Alright, the nice thing about eight mana minions is there's not a lot of them. And all of them are pretty damn good. They're passing their damn turn again. How lucky did I get with this? So here's what I was talking about where the AI is dumb. They're damaging without killing. Don't do that. Don't damage without killing. Your minions go away at the end of her turn. Doesn't matter. And just like that, motherfucking Tyrion, ugh. Things just started going uphill in a hurry. So, um, pretty much this is what I was talking about playing, uh, playing in charge, because there's no point not to. You want to get as much damage as you can, and just get minions on field. I'm really just to the point now where I'm saying stuff I've already said, guys. Play the board. Play board control. Do that when you can. Play big minions. Have, have a pretty good spread of big minions. Um, I would recommend this deck over a lot of the other ones that I've seen. Just because I'm 2-2 two two with it. I don't know why. I know that's not a big enough sample size, but whatever. <laughs> and again, there was no point in doing that. She does it anyway. No point. It doesn't kill anything. doesn't help anything. And there's that fucking Kel'Thuzad again. I thought it was Ragnaros and the Kel'Thuzad, but whatever. Even better. So, um, I'm counting things up. You'll see me tapping away. Let's see if anyone else can spot it. Does anyone else see what I see? Oh, play. Just, let's just watch this part. Let's just take this in. Remember, I was down to nine health. You guys see it yet? Exact fucking lethal! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that this wing is over. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> that is a sigh of relief. I've been banging on this since Thursday, guys. It is so awesome to see this finally finished. So, anyway, um, there's all sorts of things. Go back and rewatch the video if you didn't catch all my stuff. But, more or less, play tokens. Get your fucking saplings out there on turn one. Darnassus on turn two. Most of the time, she cannot get taken out on turn two. Um, that gives you an extra mana crystal for free. I'm picking Malfurion's nose again. Everything's awesome. I'll see you guys around next uh, next week for whatever the next, um, well, next week, in a couple of days, I'll see you around for the fourth wing of, um, 
what is this what is this called league of explorers uh until then guys i'll see you around huffer please please huffer huffer i need you i need you huffer fuck <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh huffer you dick <laughs> huffer is such a dick <laughs> going on i'm trying to indicate with my mouse even though it doesn't work like that that's ryan yeah, I'm not really sure if this is before or after. I think it's a little bit after the first one. Oh, dear. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Let's start out with this bullshit. Oh! Oh, God! Job's done.